Everybody knows that ASAP Rocky has big fits. Yep. Everybody knows that Rihanna has big fits. Big. How big are they together? Big to biggest. This is our opinion. As qualified yeah. experts. I'm obliged to doubt you. And I'm Josh Pesquiz. We're about to see. We're about to see. This big. So we're at the Fenty Beauty and Skin launch, so it only makes sense that Rihanna's showing a little bit more skin. Yep. Rihanna is wearing the Attico halter top. The bottoms are also from Attico, and the shoes are just a pair of platform sandals, diamond and amethyst drop earrings, and a matching bracelet. There's a real dichotomy, though, because Rocky's wearing a Louis Vuitton Letterman jacket, purple matching t-shirt. The jeans are so destroyed, we can't identify them. And the sneakers, again, are Louis Vuitton. Also the Yankees cap with Care Bears? That looks like Care Bears. It looks like aliens a little bit. Care Bear aliens. Care Bearians. Maybe <laughs> Care Bearians. Okay. <laughs> He's obviously wearing a very nice varsity from one of Virgil's last collections. Okay. You know it's beautiful materials. You know that the sneakers are expensive. There's that difference between like dressed up and expensively dressed. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about this, but I'm not necessarily one that says couples should match, but the green LV sneakers to Rihanna's top at least gives it a little bit of coherence while they're posing for the pictures. If we switched out the jeans for something a little bit more- Clean. Clean. Yes. Then all of a sudden, it's an equal playing field. Yeah. Maybe even white jeans. I think they match each other's energy in different ways. She's a little dressier, he's a little casual. That's the intangible, the intangible part of the fit, which is what helps it be big in a lot of cases. Yep. Yeah, we have to see what else is happening. Where do you think it goes? The lowest fit? The, the big fit. Still a big fit. Still a big fit. Couples fit. Yeah, exactly. I think one fit outshines the other yeah. on it. So this isn't just a day out on the town, although that's kind of the vibe. They are actually shooting a music video. Rihanna's top is by Dolce & Gabbana. It's a corset from spring 2005. It's a Lueve shearling coat, lace up trousers from Giacomas. The shoes are Amina Muwadi pumps. She's got this headscarf, maybe vintage. On the other end of Rihanna's hand, we have Rocky wearing an all black Stephen Cook set. It's the jeans and the jacket. Quilted denim jacket has sort of a racer vibe to it. Wearing a lug sold moto boot from over here, it looks like it could be Prada, but indeterminate designer. I think the all black is fly. I mm -hmm. think the fit of the pants, mm -hmm. great. Jacket, great. Mm -hmm. The belt. I think it's dumb fly too. Yep. I mean, the quilting, yep. the cross hatching, it yep. gives it a motocross kind of feel, which is accentuated by the boots. It's the crop of the jacket is yep. what really does it for me. Cause the pant is relatively slim. Yep. It's got a high waist. You want to accentuate that by the crop of the jacket. The hardware on the snaps goes back to the belt, goes back to the jewelry, goes back to the teeth. Yep, big Fly. fit. Big, big, this is big a, fit. This is a big fit. Big and feet. in relation to Rihanna's fit, which is equally big, floor length shearling. Yep. Is that a snakeskin on the bustier? Is that? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, crazy. 90 vibes, you have the gold hair and bone. And I think they match each other's energy, it's crazy. This is an amazing ring too. He also Goes has with the ring. some big ruffles potato chips right there, which is a nice accessory. Now, if I was going to say anything, if I wanted to naysay anything at all, yep. don't love, love, love the trucker hat. I agree with you. I would take away the trucker hat. So I would say I wear a trucker hat every day. And <laughs> I think this trucker hat is just the wrong trucker hat. Maybe if and it was sitting a little higher, if it was sitting a little higher yeah. on the crown, like the way you wear yours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But still very, very big, big fit. fit. I'm gonna grab this one out of your hand. Okay. And uh, that's a bold move. I'm a bold person. That's kind of a big fit, dude. It's a very big fit yeah. and it's a big combo. It's oh. a big call to make so early on. I'm ready to take that chance. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see though. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. Fit's looking kind of big. Okay, look three is from the 2021 Met Gala. Rihanna is wearing Balenciaga Couture and a beanie cap. You know, which definitely brings it back down to earth a little bit. I didn't even notice the beanie like I that. I mean, the beanie really the sets it off. ASAP's wearing a custom ERL suit and a vintage quilt. To I, show up on the carpet with the blanket slash quilt wrapped around you exactly. like that is a major, major exactly. move. Apparently this 
quilt was donated mm. to a thrift store and ERL found it and incorporated it into this look for Rocky. I mean, the fact that this thing came fully fashioned like that and just threw it on top is kind of a stroke of genius. Yeah. The volume of it then matches what Rihanna's wearing. I mean, obviously the underneath is much more formal, but he's still rocking it in a casual way. The ruffle shirt is untucked. The pants are a little bit longer. Yeah, I think the idea of it was kind of like a cheesy prom tuxedo. Right. And it does a good job of balancing that out and making it flat. We got the pearls. Yeah. We've got the brooch. Yeah. Normally, I would never recommend wearing an untucked button front shirt with a blazer. Yeah. In this set of circumstances, because it's rocky, because of the pearls, because of the ruffles, wearing it out is okay for me. Also, the jacket's a little cropped. Yeah. Also, there are rules to be broken as long as stylistically you, you can know pull it the off. rules. You, you got to know the rules to break the rules. No, you have to be fly to break the rules and get away with it. <laughs> That's the real deal. And so all that kind of has this yeah. cheesy kind of thing, yeah. like definitely 80s prom, Dumb and Dumber, or the, like the little <laughs> ruffle shirts. And then you've got Rihanna who's wearing this voluminous coat. Yeah. Obviously, the jewelry is mega. And then she's got her little beanie on. It brings the looks together yeah. as far as I'm concerned. And Obviously, it makes it, it modernizes it and it makes it Rihanna. You know, Rihanna's an innovator. <sighs> That's big competition. Mm. It's just how I feel. Okay, one's more casual, one's more dressy. But your man is wearing a quilt. This is in the right place so far. There could be a contest between those two. Okay. But let's see. It's right. not over yet. Okay. Okay. So this is the Fall 22 Gucci Adidas presentation in Milan. Rihanna's wearing a Gucci latex and lace top, satin trousers with that dragon print and a silver chainmail hat. And who can miss the Gucci faux fur coat covering it all? Rocky's wearing a Gucci jacket and top. The bottoms are Gucci as well. The Adidas Gucci gloves, a Gucci monogram briefcase, and the sneakers are Adidas and Gucci. I see a little Gucci. Gucci. Let's start with Rihanna. Okay. Here. Headgear's killer. I like that. I like her headgear and this fur. When I first saw this, I kind of didn't notice this because, you know, mother to be, I mm -hmm. looked at the mm -hmm. headgear and I looked at the belly and the dragon on the pants. And there's a lot of different textures going on here. You've got the lace as part of the sort of belly top. Yeah, a little patent leather going on. A little patent leather going on there. Then you got the satin. Leather. The satin dragon. Yeah. And you know, the headpiece and the necklace feel very deco. Yeah. You know, whereas you have the fur in a lavender. 70s hill, yeah. Right. But anything but 70s ish. And then the chinoiserie of the dragon, which yep. is very like 70s, 80s. Enter the dragon. Yeah. So she's like on multiple different decades right here, but she's able to pull it all off. Yeah. And in relation, to me, there's a little bit of a disjointed thing going on between his outfit and his accessories. You know, she's got a lot of different errors and a lot of different things going on. It ends up feeling balanced because it's so busy. Yeah. Whereas the thing that really grabs attention on what Rocky's wearing is the valise and the gloves. I like the leather pants. I like, it's easy. I mean, it's just a little bomber, a little leather pants. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what more do you yeah. need, really? Agreed. I'm gonna go ahead and agree to that. You know, in some ways, I think that this is a zone. This is a zone. One person's fit is outshining another's over here, whereas the that. fits are equally big yeah, over yeah. here. This is the last one. Praise Damn. Him. Okay. So in 2019, we're in London for the Fashion Awards. Rihanna is wearing head to toe Fenty and matching gloves back to her jacket. Rocky also is wearing Fenty appropriately. It's a black tuxedo from the fashion show of that year and his sneakers are from Rick Owens. The dress is definitely giving me prom vibes. It's satin, it's Fenty. The gloves. The gloves that you can see the rings through. I like that they are both rocking braids. Yep. It helps bring the looks together, in my opinion. Yep. I like the shoes. She's matching to a T. We talk about monochromatic. We've got multiple different textures. Yeah. I like the contrast between quote unquote Tiffany blue and the black of his look. Hold on, hold on. We have to point out them diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Is that whole choker diamond? I think it might be. Damn. I think diamonds. it might be. So Rocky's wearing Fenty also, which Where's... is not known to make menswear and didn't for very long. And I think that there might be a reason why. 
Let's talk about what I like about the look first. Okay. The satin lapels with the buttons that are not covered, I but think is a nice way to keep it a little bit more casual. Yeah. You can tell that the jacket is padded. You can tell that the pants are also padded. Could be fill, like a Prima Loft kind of like, fill. Almost like like a thin down material. What that does is make it almost look like a ski suit in a way, because exactly. you do need that, right? You need that insulation. And it also makes the jacket less of a blazer and more of a coat when you have that kind of fit. Yeah, and it also looks like it could be a little hot. Yeah, he's cooking. Yeah. I would be cooking in there. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> yeah, keep those lights sunshine. off. Me. Keep those lights off. sunshine. I don't really like the fit yeah. of the suit, but I especially don't like the fit of the pants. I agree and disagree. If I love an oversized suit, this kind of misses the mark. When you're wearing yeah. like an oversized yeah. suit that has yeah. like a minimum construction yeah. and has like a flow or a drape to it, like I do to think me it's that the, feels. The padding because I actually don't mind the pants. Okay. It's 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 the jacket that's bothering me slightly. If you're gonna have a blazer this big, I think the shoulders should have a little more structure. And I think it changes the energy of it. And I think the shoes are good. Shoes are great. Here's a question for you. Yep. Would it make a difference if the jacket was a little bit shorter? Nope. He looks good. He's yeah. got confidence. Yeah. So like in terms of whether or not we have quibbles with the look, yeah. he's doing his thing. He's certainly there to like be a partner. And they look amazing. I and mean, they look great together. They look fly. And you have enough coordination with the satin that it makes it feel like it's very much on purpose. Yeah. I'm not mad at it, but I don't think it's the biggest. I feel like it goes right in the middle. This fit is the most equal of these three fits, yeah. which it's makes it, in my opinion, the middle fit. Yeah. But let me know what you think. I agree. I think we got this big fit right, I must say. I feel like they're more in sync on the right, and that's why those fits are leading. Because we are here to talk about couples fits. Couples fit. Don't be judging individually, two plus two, is not the right math. <laughs> one plus one, one is plus a couple. One. one plus one <laughs> equals two, and in some cases, yeah. it equals three. Yeah.